Ailey and I want to say thanks so much to our patrons. We really appreciate your support in helping make Elder Dragon hijinks a thing that will continue for as long as we can play casual Ridiculous Commander. Thank you so much to our rare patrons, Connor R., Michael S., The Weirdly Amused Flash, Andrew T., Tree and Bug, Thy Voice or Least, Walla, Mark S., Tim R., Robert T., Etria, Mike M., Andy B., Uncle Ferno, Carl, and Dead. And a mythic thanks to our mythic patrons, Seductober, Truman J., Garrett N., Chris C., MTG Wolfgirl, Matthew S., Imbacilicus Rex, Matt O., Gamer from Miletus, and Efren A. Thanks again, patrons. Elder Dragon Hijinks is proudly sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. Pre-order The Brothers War using code ALIASV to get 5% of your order as well as your own kick-ass vampire token. For our Canadian viewers, check out Face-to-Face -face Games for your singles and sealed product and be sure to use code ALIASV at checkout for 5% off. We're also sponsored by our friends at Moxfield.com, the best deck building site on the internet for your Magic the Gathering collection. The show is also made possible by EDH Rec and their sister site, Commander's Herald. EDH Rec is one of the best resources you can have as a Commander player. Commander's Herald is their article-focused site for Commander, where you can find more content, more insight, and some fun articles along the way. Another awesome sponsor is UltraPro. For all your accessory needs, visit ultrapro.com forward slash alias V. Don't forget code alias V at checkout for 5% off. Last but not least, thanks to our sponsor, Alter Sleeves. You can find them at altersleeves.com. Get amazing art upgrades for your cards and for your decks to personalize them as you like. And everybody, hello and welcome to another episode of Elder Dragon Hijinks. I'm Ailey. And I'm Olivia. We are joined today by some wonderful returning friends. We've got Ms. Lewis Stardust, cosplayer, podcaster, and just rad person all around. And Joey Schultz from EDH Rec. Two of our most favorite people to play with. And they have two commanders apiece. So without further ado, dear friends, let's go and see what partners our friends are rocking. Hi, I'm Joey from EDH Rec. You can find us making awesome new episodes of the EDH Rec cast every Friday, giving more context to the data on EDH Rec. And I am here playing my Commander Commander deck. It is run by Tana and Timna, two partners. Basically, though, what it is is Commander Tribal. Every single card in the deck must refer to a commander. So it's a lot of things like backgrounds or familiars, lieutenants, commander storm guards. Every single card must refer to one of my commanders. So I just want to have double backgrounds to get double benefits, and hopefully that will help me crush my enemies with the power of all of these very weird commander-specific cards. Hey folks, my name is Lewis Stardust. I'm an alternative model cosplayer and person who just likes magic, which you can find me playing, you know, magic on my Twitch and all that other good stuff. Aside from that, today I'm here playing Mike and Eleven, which is a five color weird kind of deck. It's a lot of dungeon effects. Uh, it's a lot of d and It's supposed to feel like Mike's D&D game. So you'll see dungeons, you'll see dragons, you'll see weird artifact things. It's just a weird deck. So that's it. <laughs> today I am playing myself. I'm going to be playing Brea Ethereum Shaper, but it's not my normal Brea. It is Brea Enchantress, as in I'm just going to curse everyone at the table as much as I can. That's the goal. That's the deck. Oh, yes, friends, I'm doing it again to myself and to you. I'm playing another pre-con because I picked up the ones from, I don't know, a couple years ago, the Anya Falcon Wrath, and it looks pretty darn cool. So I'm going to try and discard a bunch of stuff, play it for freezies whenever the heck I want to, and just see what nonsense and nuisance I can cause at the table. Let's get to it. <laughs> I rolled a seven. Six. I knew it was going to be Olivia. God damn it. You <laughs> manifested it. Thank you. I know, because now I'm last. <laughs> We're saving the best for last. Uh, I keep go. getting like one land or no land hands, and I'm playing five colors, so I apologize that I keep doing oh, this. It's fine. No, 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 no. Don't worry about it. I, hand. I, I I'm, keeping, my... I'm keeping a two lane hand, but one of them is Terramorphic Expanse, so I can more or less fix to what yeah, I need. If there's I'll be two fine. lands, I'd be happy, but it's one or none. <laughs> like, yeah. what am I right now? I, well, I mean, like, for, it's. For this deck, oh, I go just ahead. keep. If, if, if the. Because if the, it's four colors, and mm. including my land, my lands also have to refer to commanders if I'm going to play them. Like, I go deep on Do all. Do you have any basics in there? Uh, so, yeah, it's basic lands, is basically it. Coward, they don't have a commander on them? I thought there you were sticking to a theme. Like, 
there are only five no, total lands that care. refer to a commander. <laughs> oh, I guess your deck sucks then. <laughs> so, so that's why I'm just like, I have to, if I get, all right, this one has a forest, a swamp, and a plains in it, keeping it. I have yeah. most of the colors. Well, it's funny. So like people are always like, oh, Olivia always gets a soul ring. It's because I have like both a personal and stream obligation that if I get one land on a soul ring, I have to keep the hand. Like that's yeah. just been a running joke forever now that I constantly keep it because I'm like, it's fine. Three mana means I can cast something for the first couple turns. <laughs> and it never does because I never run stuff that just requires colorless and I always keep an off color. So it's like, <laughs> I know you guys don't get it and you think I'm cheating because I play to lose. So sure, <laughs> but it's actually just a long running joke at this point with my, with my community that like, yeah, I everyone's have to keep got their own rule in commander, right? Like yeah. with me, it's if I can hit someone, I'm going to hit them. That's my, my rule. rule is I don't care if I f***ing lose because none of this matters. <laughs> None of this comes with me when I die. It's just <laughs> too low on the totem pole for me to give a sh <laughs> I'm here to have fun. And if it's yeah. not other people's idea of fun, they can watch something else. Like, I just, I can't be bothered. Yeah, there's plenty of very good competitive yeah. EDH channels. Go check them yeah, out. Exactly. What do you, like, that's the thing. Like, oh, you guys should do this. Like, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> We're doing this because we don't want to do that. Like, did that ever occur to you? Uh, anyway. We let's ready? freaking boogie. Yeah, let's do it. Power. Ooh. Joey's so spooky. This is, is this spooky? I was going for playful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not that spooky. It's only spooky if he's a blue player. You don't let's have any blue. You're a swamp. I'll pass. All righty. Draw. I'll play this here. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Everything's fine. I don't like. Really, I don't know what that means, Olivia. <laughs> it means this was like I saw mana values and was like, oh, okay, this is playable. And I'm looking at the cards. I'm like, what was I thinking? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna crack Terramorphic Expanse and go fetch a swamp. I will probably also have a swamp to open, but I will draw for two. No, I will have a Path of Ancestry to open instead. One oh. of the few lands that refers to a commander. Look at you go. I feel, I feel I feel very happy about this actually. All right, I will pass it on. Yeah, you're okay, winning so far. I will far. draw for turn. Let's do a like Olivia. I didn't really look at my hand of man yeah. values. I just it, said there was land. Uh huh. Uh huh. So uh -huh. let's just we're gonna put a Godless Shrine in tapped Ooh. and pass. Yeah, we're just we're just gonna sneak. We're gonna be very low key on this. <laughs> Well, this is not unpromising. Okay. Why did I keep this? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, I'll play an island and I will pass. Mm -hmm. All righty. Yeah, no, I thought no, I was cool. playing the pre-con. Looks like you guys are too. No, <laughs> I'm not playing a pre-con. I am being judicious in the application of the cards that are in my hand. You're this playing right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> judicious in the application of cards in my hands. <laughs> Can play some I will say this tapped. is this is different, Brea. This is not artifact, Brea. This is enchantress, Brea. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. The Which doesn't actually Maybe make sense day. until it does. All right, I will draw again, and oh, that untaps because of the the rules. Um, I will play that swamp, and let's cast. It's actually Dion. the phase of a turn. Feature the turn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I will cast Scion of Halister. Commander creatures I own have the first time I would draw a card each turn. Instead, look at the top two cards of your library, put one of them into your graveyard and the other one on top of your library, then draw a card. Oh, wait, there's so uh, many words. And basically, I get to filter my draw step for between two cards, right. and I will yeah. uh, pass to Lua. It's kind of surveil, but not surveil. Yeah. yeah. It, basically, yeah. It doesn't double stack <laughs> with two commanders, right. uh, which is one of yeah. the few backgrounds that I don't get double benefits off. But, you know. <laughs> I will draw. Oh, those are your proxies you had done, hey? Oh, your altars you had done, hey, Lua? Yes, so these are those by are ALK beautiful. altars. Oh, fun. oh so yes, ALK is such a dear. Yeah, they're supposed to look like the D&D &D modules, because I yeah. really like the ones that came out, but they didn't make them for more, like, cool mm. lands. Cool lands. So I was really excited about this. Those are sweet. Um, I'm going to crack this flooded strand, take one, and go get some kind of land that can maybe help me. ALK has got really fun stuff. I, I requested um, a Sakashima the Imposter as an imposter 
from the Among Us game. Yeah. Oh. And, he, and he delivered on that for me. Let me see. Let me see if I can find it, actually. It's yeah. really good. Um, so I just want to go to Steam Vents. I'm going to drain myself again. I really needed <laughs> said mana. We've all been there. Yeah. And then okay. I will maybe cast something. Sure. We're going to pay two for Will Blade of Frontiers. Will says, uh, if you would roll one or more dice instead, roll that many dice plus one and ignore the lowest roll. If I were to roll dice, I would put a plus one plus one counter on him. And hey, then I'll games begin. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will draw. Okay. Well, we are cooking with gas. Let's go. Play of planes. I'm going to risk it. Joey. Oh, no. I'm Joey. It's not personal. Um, oh, no. I'm oh, going to no. tap three and play Curse of Leeches on you. <clears throat> I've been cursed it's by leeches. It is enchant player. As this permanent transforms into Curse of Leeches, attach it to a player. At the beginning of enchanted player's upkeep, lose one life, I'll gain one life, and it's daybound. If a player casts no spells during their turn, it becomes night. Oh, and wow. it'll transform. That's it for me. I'm all done. Pass. Cheeky, cheeky. Okay, I oh, am cursed. <laughs> Nothing personal. It is fun totally going wanted. through infinite tokens and finding out uh, what I was upset about during a game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of our very first games we played. <laughs> it sure was. And I was very upset about the stupid <laughs> bird gift. That's incredible. I'm just going to keep playing Lands at Intertap, Rectos, Guildgate. Next turn, I'll do something more interesting. I promise. Nice. Great. <laughs> Uh, yeah, real quick. All right, I untap because of the face. Um, and then I found that Sakashima the Imposter. Uh, oh my yeah. god. <laughs> right? I love that. That's so fun. Oh, so good. Yeah, so shout oh, out I to ALK. That. They do such good work. That's so fun. All right. He let's... did all of uh, the Shiro uh, altars I got for Brian. Oh, you know, so sweet. That's so cute. Let's, let's go with the forest and let's actually play out one of the commanders Path of Ancestry for White. Let's cast Timna the Weaver. Since that is one of my commanders, Path of Ancestry has me scry. I don't think I want another land right now. Got many of them, so I will pass the turn to Lua. Must be nice to have all that land. <laughs> <laughs> Draw for turn. I will play a forest oh, for turn. Shoot. Uh, oh, shoot. Oh, because Bailey didn't do. Yeah. Did nobody what? cast a spell? Oh, yeah. Bailey, yeah. Did you cast one? I didn't do anything. You did not? Okay, it's sorry. It's that, time. that trans. It's full. So actually, Joey, you don't even have to worry about taking the damage on upkeep. Ailey didn't do anything, so we're fine. Okay. I now have Welcome. a 4-4 four, four leech horror. Thank you. <laughs> Am I safe to play a land? <laughs> yes, <Yeah, laughs> absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah, apologies, apologies. No, you're good, you're good. That was all good stuff. I was like, oh my god, wait, did I do something wrong? Nothing um, wrong happened. You played a forest, how did I just I got did. a 4-4, four, four. everything's great. I did play a forest, so you get the 4-4. Four, four. Mm -hmm. That's it. Well, I wanted to swing at you, Olivia. <laughs> I'm Sally. So now, I will just pass. Okay. Reasons I will draw. Everything's fine. Just peachy. Great, great, mm -hmm. great. All right. I'm going to play a plane. I played a planes last turn. I'm going to play a mountain this time. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one that does that. All the time I do this. Look at this um, green mountain. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this amazing play. Especially with these lands, they look so similar. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to tap three for Mahati, Emporium Master. It's a legendary kitty. Uh, at the beginning of my end step, create a treasure token for each creature that died this turn. Well, this is a fancy kitty. He's very fancy. Mm -hmm. uh, and a three, three. So that's it. All done. Pass. What's wrong with his hands? Why are his hands backwards? I couldn't tell you. I'm not but imagining things, right? His thumbs in the wrong unsettling. place. It's no, they're, they're um, like a, no, it's 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 like doing he's this, holding it like this. Yeah. No, I'm I'm pretty sure there's something about that creature in D and D lore where their hands are backwards, right? Okay. I don't know. Hmm. Could be. Interesting. I'm, Joey, I'm pretty sure you're right. Lane. Like it is it is a gesture, but the thumbs on the on the wrong side. <laughs> no, <laughs> I didn't even okay. Know oh yeah, huh? <gasps> oh, that's so strange. It is. <laughs> oh, it sounds. I had to like hold the card this way, so I had a perspective. D and D experts, let us know in the comments below. Yes. Why are the hands backwards? Kitty. Yeah. What happened to oh, the kitty cat? Backwards. And who do I need to punch if they armed the poor kitty cat? I don't uh, think that's what happened. <laughs> I hope that's not what happened. No I'm gonna play to get punched. this mountain, and I'm gonna tap all the things. 
And I'm going to cast a hasty pigeon. Skyfire Phoenix. When you cast your commander, I can return this from the graveyard to the battlefield, which is nifty. And now Olivia's gone away, so I can't hit her. This is just how it works, right? Oh, you can still hit her. Don't worry about it. I could it. still hit her. <laughs> but your your one commander says you gain life if people take damage, right? It you know has a uh, lifelink, and I can uh, pay a life to draw a card if I've hit a person. I guess it's per person. Yeah. Okay. Um, so well, I, I can mitigate my life total a little bit, yeah. Why didn't Olivia hit you with Curse of Leeches? These are the answers. Sure, questions. I don't but know. I wasn't going to question it. <laughs> Me neither. I mean, just a four-four life link, right? Maybe she was just really focused on the hand thing and forgot all about. Oh, distraction combat. tactics! I helped. <laughs> now I'm going to yep. bop Joey because you're going to gain life. So bonk. Yeah, that sounds about right. But I might bop <laughs> you back. You might. This is fine. I accept. <laughs> okay. So maybe if you also run to the bathroom, you'll be safe. Maybe, you know. <laughs> That's what I should do. Just real quick, actually, Ailey, I'm sorry. Before you go to combat, I, uh, <laughs> I cast the social equivalent of Teferi's protection. Quick bio break. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on tap, uh, and instead of drawing, Scion of Halister gives my commander the ability to uh, look at the top two and choose one. Oh no! <laughs> oh, that's a really tough choice, actually. <laughs> no. To hear it. Does the other one go to your graveyard? Yeah. Sorry. Right. Uh, you probably don't have any graveyard recursion. Not one not, bit. Not a single thing. It's very mm -hmm. uncomfortable for me. All right. I'll lose the arcane signet, which is one of the only sources of acceleration or color fixing in the entire deck. I'll draw this card because I really like it. I like that card a lot. And then. Isn't it funny how this is the format that doesn't necessarily punish you for like this is objectively the wrong choice, but I like this card, so I'm going to play right. it. <laughs> yep, yep. All right, Ailey, you hit me, so I'm going to hit you back. I will attack you with the Timda. For how much? Just two. Boop, boop. Amanda damage. So then I gain two, but I will pay one life with Timda's effect to draw an extra card. And not, then not I'll play a planes. Tap four. The Path of Ancestry will be red this time. And I will cast... The other commander, the more important commander, the Tana, the Blood Sower, who makes me sapperlings when I hit. Uh, Path of Ancestry, I will scry. That I can keep. Yes, that one I need to know. That's the wrong color. I know how to do cards. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like me trying to figure out a turn. Yeah, never mind. I don't need that one. Okay. Pass to Lua. <laughs> okay. I will draw. This is not what I needed. There's a cute dog on the internet. Look how oh, boopable cute. that face is. <laughs> Buddy. Look at that shib. All right, so I tap three for a tireless tracker. I'm not gonna play a land for turn for just just because I can't, so it's fine. <laughs> Joey's got too many things to block. Where I'm just gonna hold up again and pass. Me. I'll drop. Ah, <sighs> fun. Let's go. No one cost two things, huh? No. Uh, no. I, okay. I put this little thing here to um, signify day and night. I'll try and keep track of it since I'm the Oops. one who's potentially. <laughs> I am going to terramorphic for a land right now. I will get uh, plants. So, Lua, I love your playmat. Isn't she pretty? Very cool. <laughs> Thank you. He's just the best. And he really the turnaround is. is good. Everything. Yeah. He's just a nice person. I'm very happy to give him my money. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he did one of Mia's Tesa that I got to actually like get printed. Oh, yeah, I want to see. I'll show you. Okay, there's that. Ray goes back here. I mean, I have to cast this one instead of her. I'm going to tap four. Are you guys even ready for this? I don't think you're ready yeah. for this. Ready for, this? for Whirlwind of Thought. Hey so enchantment, whenever I cast mm -hmm. a non-creature spell, I can draw a card. That will be it for me. Oh, that card is so good. I like it. It's so Damn, good. I love that it's art. It's a really it's good so card. It's so awesome, yeah. I like Aquaria. No one can convince mm -hmm. me otherwise. It's a Such very a, good set. I really like that set, like a lot. <laughs> no. No. Me too, I, but you can't tell why. <laughs> no. No, no uh, You know, you as very banned card in like most formats. Listen, okay. <laughs> except I was for the best format. <sighs> See, we except didn't ban for, Winota. Yes. We didn't That's ban Winota. Every time We're I'm not like, afraid oh, of powerful wait. women in Commander, except for Braids. No. Ah. That's why my, my new Gila deck is like all powerful women. Every like- Yeah, same. Yeah. I, I just, when I started playing Magic, I was like, I want the most like badass women that I can find as Commanders. And like, I stayed off playing dude Commanders for a while. I was like, no men, just 
cool ladies. <laughs> oh my god, I did the same thing. I had a bunch yep. of decks, and I was like, why don't I just have ladies for the commanders? So I changed them all out. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm going to play Rick's Marty Dungeon Palace. It adds colorless mana for me, and I can activate it to make each player discard a card. What? And let's get Madam Anya out. For three. Or as I like to refer to her, uh, Miss Angie. <laughs> Angie. I don't know how people say it. Like, I don't know what's correct. Angie or Anya? Like, uh, to me, I'm pretty sure it's Anya. I like Anya. It yeah, sounds yeah, I'm cool. I'm pretty sure it's Anya. I just go for the cheap drag race reference because I'm amazing and funny. <laughs> no, Angie doesn't sound like a vampire. Anya sounds like yeah. a vampire. Angie. All right. So she enters the battlefield. She has Haste. It's a 1-3. I can discard a card and then draw a card. Maybe discard a card if it has madness. Untap Anya Falconrath. So I have some madness cards in here. Would you believe hey. it? No. I'm going to tap Madame. I'm going to discard Nightshade Assassin, which has first strike. When this enters the battlefield, you may reveal X black cards in your hand. If you do, target creature gets minus X, minus X until end of turn. Madness, <clears throat> one, and a black. Would you look at that? I have those two lands available, so I will play it. Or it's madness cost. Madam will untap no. because she had madness. I will then reveal one, two black cards from my hand. Doom Necromancer and Murderous Compulsion. And I would like to make your Timna go away, please. I think that's the only thing I can target right now. Uh, Tana is also a 2-2, two, two. so either one of them. Which one's more annoying? Which one? You said Timna's more important. Uh, Tana's more important, right? Oh, that's so cool. There it is. For this oh, yeah. deck. I don't know. The that's best so part cool. is it's me. Oh. <laughs> Hell yes. <laughs> On the stage, I was like, yeah, it's very good. That's rad. I, I can I can say a little bit about like why I chose these uh, these two. I was actually originally yeah. going to uh, consider Cecily and Othelm, which are Lewis commanders, because yeah. I was uh, originally going to do a five color all backgrounds. Wow. But I noticed that a lot of the backgrounds help out tokens a whole lot. So oh, I was just okay. like Tana makes tokens, and then I just went with Timna because of the colors and because okay. this deck has some problems drawing cards sometimes. So in my opinion, Tana is the bigger engine of the deck, but Timna okay. is the one that actually keeps the deck. Uh, Timna's getting the draws I mean, and has the lifelink. Yeah. Timna <clears throat> is making those tokens. So like, and Yeah, they're, they're both good choices. Um, I think that Tana has more explicit payoffs, but Timna does grease mm. the wheels. So that's my evaluation of it. I, I will kill the tapped T commander. All I, right. That is my choice. She go bye-bye. Bye, girl. She bopped me. So it's only fair. And now it's hard for me to hit you back because that's a 2-1 first striker, so. Exactly, yeah. Good luck, Donna. Pretty cool card. <laughs> now Olivia's here so I can hit her. Donk. What? <laughs> yeah, you left. I was going to hit you last time, but then you left. Well, you can <laughs> hit me when I I can't block it, so I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I care, but like. You know. It's it's a, what we called a, what, a social teferi's protection. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Back, gotta go. <laughs> that's Just my turn. Just forget about me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Two did you spells cast? were cast. Okay, yes, so I, I did cast say. two spells. Well then, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am Sandwich, I am going to put Curse of Leeches on you. Me? Doesn't yes. it stay on Joey? Or does it switch each time? Attach it to a player as this permanent transforms. Nice. Ooh, okay. Fine. <laughs> but I don't take anything yet, right? Next no, turn. No, not until your upkeep. Okay. If we even make it that far, maybe it turns into a leech again. I don't know. <laughs> cool. <laughs> It's up to right, the rest of the table. Untap Scion of Halister sees that I have a commander, so I will look at the top two and choose one. I will get rid of a mountain and put that one to hand. That's not good against you. That's not good against you. Play a swamp. Okay. Cards. Cards. These are cards. Cards is what these are. Hmm. What is the, the cat? How big is it? 3-3 uh, three, 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 Meow Meow. 3-3 three, three, Meow Meow. <laughs> so is the Phoenix. I just want to make things. Can't make things yet. All right. Not stopping you from making things. You have blockers. How dare! <laughs> I will Touché. pay three. <laughs> I will pay three, and I will cast Master Chef. So commander Ooh, creatures nice. I own come in with a plus one counter and give my other creatures a plus one counter. And then I'll also pay two and cast a Tome of Legends, which comes in with a page counter on it. Whenever my commanders attack or enter the battlefield, it gets page counters, and I can remove them one at a time to draw cards. Nice, nice. But I don't have a good attack against anyone right now, so I will pass it to Lua. Okay. I am not begging from land for the top. Oh, <laughs> thank God. Oh. All right. <laughs> Take my two. 
I am only hurting myself this game. What shall we do? <laughs> I think this is kind of late. I don't know if it's going to help me, but we are going to try to cast this mother. You get a wireless tracker trigger, huh? <gasps> yes, I do. I will get a clue. You're right. Big brains. My God, get a clue. A smothering tithe. <laughs> it's just a late one, though. So it's That's not such that a good clue token. Oh, my God. Thank yeah, you. Great, so these great. were, yeah, these were done by Adriano, and he made uh, treasure food and clue ones for me. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> That's great. Yes, yeah, so this will get a plus one, plus one. From the land coming in, I will get a clue token. And yeah, that it, that's it. So I will pass. What? No, actually. Hmm. Hmm. No, Joey, why do you have 12 things? I, I don't have 12 things. That's Five a of them are lands. <laughs> I guess that's true. I guess that's true. Still counts. <laughs> Dan's just a 2-2. Two -two. The rest are backgrounds, right? Are they creatures? Nope. Huh. Artifact enchantments. Okay. Two, two. I'm going to try to swing at you with my four, three. Yeah. I will, I will. Wait, does it get the plus one counter yet? Oh, no, it's not because I didn't sack it. So it is a three, two. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. My brain is there's been a lot happening. So just <laughs> who comes out. I don't get the plus one plus one yet. It is a three, two. And you have a two, two. I do have a two, two. It's I fine. don't think he'll block. Yeah, I'll just swing it anyways. It's just three, two. And if you this block is accurate, it, I will not block. All right. <laughs> Bond or tax is a pain in the butt. Mm. Yeah, I will pass. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm watching a puppy video and I can't stop. <laughs> <gasps> Pupperkins. Puppy overload today. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. I can't. My dog ovaries. All right. I will draw. Would you what? like to pay? <clears throat> yeah. No, like two if you mana. want small, you can have kitty ones, too. I'm sorry. Would you like <laughs> to pay two mana for the We did hear that, right, Joey? Yeah, for the yeah. draw. Yeah, yeah. We always, my friends and I used to joke, oh God, my dog ovaries are clenching because you'd see a cute puppy and you don't want a human puppy. You want a puppy puppy. A separate mm -hmm. set. Exactly. Don't you know? This is totally, yeah, this is completely normal. You get two sets of ovaries. That's how yeah. that works. Mm -hmm. I need a cute dog. That's what I you know. Need. Just as, as a gay man, I learned very little about female anatomy. Um, I'm not surprised. So, <laughs> You're right? learning today. Yeah. And so, yeah, no, I, I appreciate the uh, you taking the time to enlighten me. I was going to say, I don't think you need it as a gay man for a qualifier. I think you just need it as a man. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Like, listen, I'm attracted to men. I don't like them. <laughs> we have a lot of, of my problems. favorite lines ever. Oh, my God. <laughs> the hits, they keep coming. All right. I'm... Going to tap this planes to play a soul ring, which is a non-creature spell, so I will draw a card. Just to clarify, you weren't paying the two for some of I am not paying right? the two. It's all yours. Okay. Yeah, go for it. So now uh, you should have oh. two treasures, because that's the second card draw. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Oh, no. I want to draw cards, and I'm going to give you... Lua, do you want to be friends, or do you want to be enemies? I'm okay uh, being friends for a certain point. Okay. Because <laughs> you get scary. Last time we played... You're not wrong. <laughs> You did it this a little deck, scary. Yeah, this this Freya deck, I just don't want people to be mean to me, so I prevent them from I mean, doing but, anything. But also, you can tap so I don't get treasure if you really want to, because you're only going to restrict yourself from card draw. That's or what playing I'm saying. Other stuff. So exactly, that's which is why I'm like, I'm I'm chill being friends right now. Well, it's going to benefit you, but I don't All know right. what's up to you. Okay, let's see. What else can I play? Because I just don't want to. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is fine. You know what, Lua? I will prove my goodwill. How's that? Sure. I'm going to tap this planes. I'm going to play Radiant Grace mm -hmm. on Lua's will. Okay. What does that mean? Which gives it plus one, plus zero, and vigilance. Mm. <laughs> That's literally it. Okay. That's not sneaky. It's going to transform to okay. target opponent when it okay. dies. Okay. But no. No sneak. Literally oh, just wow. Radiant Grace. Plus one, plus one, vigilance. Got it. Plus one, plus zero, plus one, vigilance. Uh, yeah. Oh, plus yeah. one, zero. Is an aura that becomes a curse? That's cool. Mm-hmm. So if someone has wronged me, I can take <laughs> it out on them if they do something bad to Lua. But otherwise, she just yeah. gets a benefit. I don't get hit, and everybody's happy. So, Great. So did that. I'll draw. So that's three treasures for you. Mm -hmm. oh, boy, I can't play that friend. That honks. You've got Tana out there. Ailey, what are your creatures? I have a Nightshade Assassin, First Strike 2-1, and Anya, a 1-3. Okay. I shouldn't have used that planes for the Soul Ring. Oh, well. I'm just going to pass. <laughs> All right. Something sneaky is afoot. No, I just don't have anything I want to do just yet. All right. I will untap. Ooh. Would you like to pay for smothering tight? 
Oh, I never pay, so you may have all your monies until I, I say otherwise. I love to hear that. I love that. Thank you. I don't huh. like paying for tithe on principle because it's an Orzov card, and I want Orzov cards <laughs> to do what they're supposed to, so, like, I can't. <laughs> but I also, understand Lua, what people I, do. Yeah. I, I love how polite and innocent you make that question sound. Yeah. Yeah. Pay two or else. Meanwhile, yeah. you get some other people <laughs> who are like, do you two? pay? Yeah. <laughs> There, there's like there's an abrasive way to ask the do you pay the mm -hmm. one or do you pay the two kind of question and you're yeah. just over here just like oh don't mind me oh, I'm just gonna Chris of Leech just dings me yes no it doesn't oh yeah Wait. no it's day bound it does yeah 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 that's for no spells apologies night bound Oop. is two I thought it was not bound she loses when you I'll gain, gain one. one yeah um, no, I always tell people like in my games like if I play tithes like I'm not gonna ask because if it, like personally it's it disrupts the flow of the game to just like every time they do something, you're gonna pay two, you're gonna pay two, you're gonna pay two. So I'm just like, I'm gonna draw unless you tell me otherwise. And I'll remind you that there's a smothering tithe, but I'm not gonna constantly say that yeah. same set of words that everybody loves hearing. Are you gonna pay for that? So. <laughs> I know, I'm like, I know it's annoying to say, but I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> yeah, totally, I get it. One, two, three, and cast a doomed necromancer. Uh, I can sack him for a black and a tap and return target creature card from my graveyard to the battlefield. Lovely. Means dies. Then let's... Olivia has the highest life total, so on principle. Sure do. Bird. That's <laughs> fair. And <laughs> nothing else. I like chaos. I like chaos warp. You have had many treasures. I'm going to make your smothering tithe go away. <gasps> I would like to point out it was not me. Okay, that's... You I might get it back off the top. You never know. Yeah. The owner of Target Permanent shuffles it into the library, then reveals the top card of their library. If it's permanent, they put it on the battlefield. So this could get yeah, worse. Yeah. Let's I'll see. Uh, listen, it wasn't, it wasn't too crazy. <laughs> Will the Demogorgon appear <laughs> in your D&D deck? There is yeah, right. a Demogorgon. There's a couple. There's a Mind Flare. Okay. It is not permanent. What is that spell? It is Long Rest. Oh, cool. Yeah. What does that, what does that do again? Um, so it would return target cards with different mana values from my graveyard to my hand, um, but All it's right. X, so I choose how many, and then mm. if I had eight or more, I would restore my life total back to 40. Uh, Dang. So it's pretty okay, good. I have another question then for our lovely viewers. What is the significance of eight in D&D? Because it's on like every single card, like pay eight, draw a card, you know, if it's eight or more. No. I don't know. Mm. If you guys know, you're welcome uh, to tell There are some me, of those in the limited environment. I assumed it was just because they wanted some late game cards that are so yeah. very common. I have uh, never Lua, played D&D, &D, so I'm not helpful in this. Uh, the card, I think, stays on top of your library. Yeah. Does so, it? I, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you don't lose it. Oh, I thought it just goes out. Okay. Yeah, then reveals the top card of the library. The cool, permanent cool, cool. would go on, otherwise it just stays there. So we know what you're getting later. <laughs> yeah. That is that's my turn. Beware a long rest. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's me. Uh... <laughs> Untap. Uh, Scion of Halister. First time that I would draw, I look at the top two. Uh, <laughs> I will put a Commander's Insignia into the graveyard, and I will keep that one. I will play a Swamp. And I really want to attack, but I, do, I still don't think I have any successful attacks. <laughs> so we will just go ahead and pay five to bring... The other commander back out, Timna the Weaver. Timna comes back with a plus one counter on it because of Master Chef and an additional mm -hmm. plus one counter on it because Tana has the same ability. So, uh, doesn't Time of Legends also do a thing? Yeah, I get another counter. Because, thank you for uh -huh. remembering what my guards do. I appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hit someone for two to make Zapperlings, but I get the distinct impression that no one's going to let me hit them for two to make Zapperlings. I'll let you hit me. I killed your thing. You may hit me. Well, my Zapperlings would come in with two additional plus one counters on them, so... If, if you're cool with that, I just want to be Hit honest me, about so what I'm doing. So I don't have the highest life total, and then I'm not the threat. <laughs> All right, cool. This is a, a fun way to do politics. Real that quick, was a I, have to, yeah. I have to scribe because of the path of ancestry, so I'll do that real quick. <laughs> I don't want that. Um, and then, yeah, I'll, I'll move to combat. And Ailey, you are such a generous, kind scholar and, and gentlewoman. Very much. <laughs> Hit me. <laughs> Olivia, don't laugh at me. <laughs> I'm laughing at you. I'm 100% laughing at you. <laughs> Nothing can stop me from laughing at you. <laughs> All right, cool. And uh, when I hit you, Tana puts two sapperlings into play because it did two damage. 
and both of my commanders have the Master Chef ability, so each of the saplings comes in with two plus one counters on them. <laughs> my deck's doing a thing. I'll pass. Yay! Now we're all uh, 35. I'm cool. Yay! <laughs> I'm just gonna oh, awesome. sack two treasures to sack this clue, put a plus one plus one counter on Tireless Tracker, and then draw a card. And then I'll go to my untap step and draw a oh. different card. I also attacked with a commander, so Tomo Legends has three counters on it. Nice. Look at him go. Um, okay, we'll play a land per turn. Put out a clue. <laughs> Past 11. We read black. When you said 11, I was like, do you mean midnight clock? No. <laughs> no, just, just a middle schooler, you know. Okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. What gotcha. does 11 do? So my maximum hand size is now 11. Whenever 11 attacks, I draw a card and then lose one life. And then if I have 11 or more cards in my hand, I could play an instant or sorcery for free. Oh, that's pretty nifty. It is very nifty. I do not have 11 or more cards and she can't attack anyways. So what can I do now? I have three mana. I guess combat is like the only thing, but Joey's got a lot of little guys. I does. They're not so little. (laughs) You're welcome. Yeah, right. (laughs) We're just going to hang out again. You're going to move to the chill step? Yeah, just the chills. (laughs) We're chilling. And I will pass. Great. Chill step is actually one of my favorite music genres to listen to. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, let's party. No one's playing that (laughs) pre-con. I see your reference and I choose not to acknowledge it. Uh, (laughs) We're all at 35. Okay. Perfectly balanced. I'm going to perfectly balanced. I'm going to pay four life, making myself less of a threat, and three to play Norn's Annex. Oh. So creatures can't attack me or a planeswalker I control unless the controller pays two life or planes, white mana, for each of those creatures. And then I'll play Brea. 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 Here she is. Opter lady. Yeah. Opter mom. Norn's Annex is a non-creature spell. I should have drawn a card. And now I have a land to play. I'll play a swamp. And that's it. I will pass. On your end step, I'm going to discard <gasps> a card and draw a card. That's my end step. It's Meteor Golem. Then untap. Draw for turn. Land for turn. And because I like annoying Olivia and I hate paying you do. to hit things, I'm going to bring back by sacking my Doom Necromancer. <gasps> My meteor golem to smack that Norn's annex thing. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. I would like that to die because I like to hit things. <laughs> yeah, I know you have plenty of things to hit. If you Was can, I that or your will render Thor. Yeah, I'd prefer the annex. <laughs> Figured. <laughs> it's fine. I'll just keep you from swinging at stuff. It's no big deal. All right. <laughs> I'm not playing white auras or anything, so. Oh, uh, is the curse still on Ailey? Did she uh, yeah, oh yeah. Ding. take a ping? Take from another the, ding. From the Thank league. you. I undinged. I printed an egg. Whoa! What? Olivia, you said it was Whoa. like the most ADHD adorable thing that just came out of nowhere. It's like, egg. I have this egg. <laughs> My, what is the egg for? That's so cool. Can you offer me an egg in this trying time? That is so cool. I can offer you a secret egg in this trying time. Oh my God. So shiny. What are you going to put in I that? Know. I don't know. I haven't made it that far. I've printed like six eggs. (laughs) Put more eggs. (laughs) So many eggs. That is so cool. It's really neat. Make a Matryoshka doll of eggs. Should. That's kind of fun. So I could do that. Or we could do multiple things. Egg. Olivia says do egg. Yeah. Be egg, do egg. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Excellent. I don't mean uh, to exaggerate the joke. Though. Excellent. <sighs> Shouldn't have Excellent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lua gets it. <laughs> well, no, Ailey said that. I was just repeating, but. <laughs> I misheard. I'm sorry. Exactly. I was distracted by my love of egg. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Well, the good thing about madness, right? If, I, if I'm remembering this right, I'm, I'm not a, I haven't played madness a lot. I can play anything at any time. So long as she does stuff, right? Sure. If it's a source, uh, like, what's the card say? Yeah. Madness. If you discard, discard into exile when you do cost for its madness cost, I'll put it into your graveyard. Yeah. So, like, if you did that ability on, if you discarded a card on, say, like my turn, you would, and it's a creature, um, you'd be able to get around the timing restrictions. Yeah. Like Flash. Okay. Bob things. Joey 
You look a little scary, oh, no. bud. I'm just going to swing at you. Hey, with the wait, three. you gave me these things. Is that was I this did. your secret agenda the whole time? <laughs> yep. I mean, you and Lua have the highest life total and you look scarier. So this is my logic. Donk. I am not threatening. <laughs> I can't believe the betrayal. I'm, I'm mm. just going to sit back with my lovely six mana and do mm. nothing for this turn as I go. Uh, before it becomes my turn, I will tap the Tome of Legends, paying one to draw a card. But Sign of Hallstar is kind of interesting. This happens the first time I would draw a card each turn. So instead of drawing the card regularly, I will actually look at the top two and pick one. Um, I also think that it goes to nighttime now because I didn't actually play anything. You didn't cast Ooh. any spells? No, it doesn't. Yep. Boop. Right, you Just are. Just got a golem from my ability. Legion Lurker got a 4-4 four, four. with lifelink and nightbound. Right. I think I'll ditch the planes and I'll put this card into hand. And then I will untap and draw a step and then I'll do the Scion of Halister thing again. Ooh. Kind of light, why you like this? Deck is sweet. I like it. <laughs> Doing uh, a lot. Oh, but I need lands. Do you need lands? Probably, yeah. I've I've played this deck uh, a couple of times, and if it uh, doesn't get a lot of mana, then it stops doing things. Um, so, okay, that I will I've heard this, that that's actually the case with a lot of decks. <laughs> yep. All right, so I will get this planes and play that for the turn. And then... Now, comments can correct me if I'm wrong, but I hear that drawing the cards you need is how you <laughs> win in Magic. You just have to draw the right cards, and which, I mean, that's easy, right? Like, you just, you just draw the cards you need to win. Super duper easy. I am a little afraid of Link's reanimations and things like that. So I think I might try and be a bit of a butt. Oh, okay, that's fine. But. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll, I'll try and do a thing. I'll pay four, and I will cast one of the few removal spells in this deck, because it refers huh? to a commander. Let's cast Asterion's Thirst. <laughs> and I kind of want the Meteor Golem to go away. Oh, but I can recur it later and kill more things. I'm fine that's, with that. That's the thing I don't want. <laughs> uh, so it exiles that <laughs> oh, creature. Oh, it's exiling. Not kill. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. And then I put X plus one counters on a commander I control where X is the power of the creature that was exiled this way. So I'll put three, three plus one counters on to Tana. Nasty. Okay. Let's see how it is. And deals. now Tana can attack. But before <laughs> she does, I'll pay two. And now we'll cast Veteran Soldier. Another background. Commander creatures I own have, whenever this creature attacks a player, basically the opponent with the most life, then I make a 1 1 soldier creature token that is tapped and attacking for each opponent. Okay. So. They have to hit the person with the most, if no opponent has more life than that player is how they word it. So Lua, that does mean that I'm currently looking at your board. I will attack you. Okay. <laughs> I, would, I, would like, I would like to attack you with both of my commanders. One of them is a 4-4, four, four, one of them is a 5-5 five, five with trample. Yeah, I think I just take both. Well, uh, real quick, because both of my commanders are attacking the opponent with the highest life total, veteran soldier makes a 1-1 one, one soldier for each opponent attacking that player. And it's eight total for me? It's going to be a little bit more. Okay, well, hold yeah, on. How, ma how many 1-1s one do you make? Four yeah, or that's, six? Are they uh, also coming at me and attacking? Or they get fucked from them coming out is what I'm asking. Yeah. The soldiers come out and there's one per player, but I have two triggers, so it's actually two per player. And they both come in with two plus encounters because of the Master Chef. <laughs> oh, right? Dear. This is happening as you're attacking. It's not like I said no blocks and then you did yeah, something, yeah. correct? Not, it's an attack. Tracking how much the damage is. This is just attacking, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so coming at you, there are two 3-3 three, three tokens. There's okay. a 4-4 four, four lifelink, one of my commanders, and a 5-5 five, five trample. Okay. One of my commanders. You're making this into something I didn't want to be. <laughs> so I just have to hit the person with the with the most life because of the I know, wait, 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 wait. And, hang on. Joey, didn't you get four one ones? Because both of your commanders trigger, right? Yeah, whenever this creature attacks a player, if no opponent has more life than that player, for each opponent, create a 1-1 one, one soldier token tapped and attacking that player. But so there are tapping. also three, uh, there are two 3-3s three, three coming at Olivia and two 3-3s three, three coming oh, at Bailey as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I, I was There's sort of like... Okay. Three, I'm going to take the four. commander damage, but I'll block at least two. And things. yeah, the tokens don't have anything special, yeah? Just 3-3s. Three, three. Okay, so this is a... Four, three, and a two, one. So this guy will die. 
And then this one. Uh, I think he's got the radiant grace on him, so he would kill off a token. Yeah. Okay. As he leaves. Does he still die? Yeah, it'll trade. Okay. okay. Yeah. You and trade on the token. Die is my question. So this was a five three, which means radiant grace will trigger and transform. I told you, Ailey. Don't pick me. Why? Because I'm not making I'm about tokens. To get a lot of stuff. <laughs> no, it is. Uh, actually, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Uh, I'm about to get a lot of uh, And then I will take its eight commander damage for the two of them, right? Eight between uh, them both, yeah. Eleven's a three five, right? You could block Timna without taking I any don't damage want from to. her. I don't want you to gain life. <laughs> well, you're going to gain life anyways, right? right? So I will, yeah. I will block her and then I'll take the five damage. Yep. Rhea and the leech will both block one of your tokens. They're four fours. They'll survive. Your guys will die. Leeching mm-hmm. Lurker will gain me four from the life link. Nice. Oops. And then, Ailey, there are two remaining soldier tokens that are both three threes coming at you. Joey, you've been hit with Radiant Restraint. Yeah. Your creatures will ETB right. tapped. And that will matter in a moment because of Tana's damage as well. But we'll get mm-hmm. to the, the last bit of combat first. May I throw a bit of a spanner in the works, which will affect combat on Lua's side of things? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to tap Anya to discard Murderous Compulsion. I want to kill your... Are you killing Tana? Tana, yes. No! <laughs> I would like her to die, please. Oh, that's such a good move. Draw? Does your will has... still die, Lua? Will was the one with the Radiant on it. Yeah, Tana, Tana wasn't did being the, the damage, okay, so Lua yeah, just undo okay. that damage. Just making sure. Okay, so cool. No. I that I get back. Yep. I wanted to make sure it didn't affect that. Yeah, radiant. no, it's a good Whatever. question. Radiant. And that's such a good move. Uh, mm-hmm. Ailey, because I was about to get so many amazing big shepherd <laughs> oh. And then I'm going to do it again, tapping four. Well, sorry, Anya's going to discard. Uh, Malevolent Whispers. I'll gain control of Tiger Creature to end the turn. Untap it, it gets plus two and haste. I'm huh. going to grab one of your soldiers attacking me and then block the other one with it so they hit <laughs> each other. Cool. Nice. That's Untap so funny. It. I love that. Oh, no. Everything that went wrong, that turn did. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so your two soldiers will turn on each other and smack. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> and I will take no damage. Thank you. Yep. Real quick, Luo, uh, it was three damage on the tireless tracker, right? Is it uh, three toughness? It's four, three, yeah. Um, you could crack one of the clues to give it a plus one counter so it doesn't die. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm good. I need right. these treasures. Well, <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll finally gain my life with Timna. <sighs> but I don't think Sorry. I hit anyone, so I can't even draw cards with her. <laughs> so I will pass the turn. <laughs> I, I've, that that was such a good sequence. That, of that the, definitely went pear shaped. <laughs> yeah, the last thing that happens is that it becomes day because a lot of spells were cast. Oh, very good. Thank you. I believe you. I'm getting cursed by leeches again. <laughs> yeah, I'll curse Joey. Yeah. All right, so I have radiant restraints. And cursed and... leeches. It's only if you make it to your upkeep if somebody. Ends up not casting a spell between now and then. You'll be well. I will be, be casting right spells. Okay, so definitely not happening on Lewis turn. <laughs> uh, a very late Mystic Remora, and I would like to do two, two, and crack these two. Right, so I gotta do two for an Ancient Copper Dragon. Woo! <laughs> So when it does combat damage to a player, I roll d twenty, and then I can make treasures equal to the number of the result. Pretty right good. now, that's not the play I want to make. I had <laughs> some revenge for Joey, but uh, everybody was very nice and helped <laughs> a little bit, so I didn't need to worry too much about my revenge plot. So, just fun thing. I wish I'd stolen that. Damn it. Mm. No, I, let me play the magic. <laughs> I mean, you could you could have it. I just wanted to borrow it for a sec and make some treasures. That's all. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then Mystic Remora is on non-creature spells. Uh, I can draw a card unless you pay four. And yeah, so where what is going on here? Joey's got sapperlings. Ailey's got stuff. How big is Ailey's stuff? It's okay. Two one and a one three. They're tiny. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna swing eleven at you regardless. It's fine if. She dies. She's a 3-5. On her attack, I will lose one life, and I will draw a card. 3-5, you say? Yes. I do not have 11 or more cards in hand, so I will not cast an instant or sorcery, and then I will just pass my turn. It, it's so funny to say I'll swing 11 at you for 3 damage. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, 
usually when people are like, all right, I'll swing 11, you're like, all right, I take 11. <laughs> so it's like the, the amount of damage. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Can you imagine if she was 11 just on the card? That'd She's be amazing. An 11. Yeah. But only if her CMC was 11, then it'd be yeah. funny. It'd be layers. It'd be, um, it'd be really, okay. really funny. <laughs> Let's see here. No one has made me need to do terrible things, so I'm not inclined to do them. <laughs> I don't like that sentence. <laughs> Real. Well, they're not terrible things. They're more just annoying ones. I mean, it's curses. Well, since Ailey likes things being turned sideways so much. Mm, I do. Just not enter tap. That's not what I like. <laughs> I'm going to incentivize this turning things sideways at her. Curse of verbosity. Whenever she's attacked, draw a card, and every opponent that's attacking will do the same. So if I swing at her, I'll draw a card. If Lua or Joey swings at her, we will both draw cards. Ooh. Would you like to pay four for uh, Mystic Remora? You may have a card. Thank you. This is a non critter so I will draw. I have a curses deck as well. It's quite fun. <laughs> Verbosely curse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I was supposed to put two more counters on my Tome of Legends. Go for it. Because I attacked with, yeah, Whatever. major attacks. Yeah. <laughs> Who cares? It's fine. Who cares? Just do it. Yeah. The biggest part with this deck is that I need to, I, I know I already used this very term, but you do actually kind of have to be judicious in its application because you mainly are just trying to pit other people against each other and not look at you too much because there's not a lot of backing up I can do with this. Joey, do you have any flyers? I have none flyers. Okay. I have, I have two ground three. I don't have any either. If you want to make use of that curse, you just plonked on me. Yeah. So heinously. <laughs> oh, I'm so the worst. <laughs> That'd be so mean. I can't do that right now. What? Right Who now? are you and what have you done with Olivia? <laughs> because I don't... Well, you know what? Yeah, you're right. What are we doing if we're not going for it? Okay. Exactly. <laughs> oh, you're going to be so mad at me, Alien. I me? just don't oh. care. Nahiri's binding on Anya. Uh, Enchant what? creature or planeswalker. Enchanted permanent can't attack or block and its activated abilities can't be activated. Uh, Where are you putting uh, that on? Uh, Anya? On your commander. Uh -huh. Yeah. You cheeky bugger. Uh, I'm going to tap Anya in response <laughs> and discard a swamp <laughs> and draw a card. <laughs> Uh, would you like to pay for Mr. Grimoire? <laughs> I am unable to pay, so the Mr. Grimoire triggers are yours. And then Harry's Binding will draw me a card. I don't need to find a way to eat my commander. I'm sorry. I'll play Planes for turn. Joey, what do you have on your board? I have two three threes. That is all my blockers right now. I'm not asking for blockers. I'm just asking okay. for your creators. Uh, two three threes. I have a four four commander lifelink. Three backgrounds, one that helps me filter my draws, one that pumps up the other creatures that come in. Toma Legends draws me cards, and Veteran Soldier, if I attack the opponent with the highest life total, I make a 1-1 one -one soldier attacking each person. Okay. Um, I also have two curses, thank you. Um, and problem. then I have a number of uh, festive lands as well. Oh, festive. Well then. Yes, okay. very, very festive lands. Uh, the rest of my hand has become useless. I am going to swing at Ailey with one softer. Dig -a -dig -a -dig -a -dig -a -dig to draw. I'll swing it like both, and I'll draw. Then I will pay three for a command sphere. I'll draw a card. Can I also draw? Certainly. What am I supposed to do without my commander, huh? <laughs> I, I huh? don't know. Can you strategize? I'll pass. From it? Practice is really if, hard to kill enchantments. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Especially if that's the precon. Feed the Swarm hadn't even been printed. This is the precon. Point. Oh, well, I yes, mean, you're just kind of sitting curses. there. <laughs> <laughs> sitting there looking pretty and sh she draw. did wonder what had happened to her co-host, so I mean, I had to, I had to fix that. <laughs> oh, she back? She was just beating Guess me there. Guess back? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just being cheeky. This wouldn't be so bad if my hand wasn't like mostly land. Does anything come back? Oh. Let's play evolving wilds. Crack it. Go find a land. I don't know whichever one I find first. So tapped. Do you have another thopter hanging back, Liv, or are you? I do. To smack. I am. I have a single thopter ready to rumble. Right. I will just pay the five for under the floorboards. <gasps> Create three two two zombies. No, I don't pay for anything. But you may have your card. I gain three life. If its madness cost was paid, I would get more. But alas, I cannot. Do that. <laughs> Sadness on the stack. Hell horror. I will find three buddy bro dude guy faces. From my very fancy <laughs> Mythic Edition deck box you can get from our lovely sponsor, Elder Prayer. Go use my code, alias via checkout. Mm -hmm, there we go. Oh, Abby's. can I show really quick? Let me go find Hell the yeah. thing I need to show. It's too pretty. I also love referring to the zombies as buddy bro dude guy faces. Oh, yes. <laughs> my my Will Help deck I'm going to refer to now is 
Yeah. yeah. It's not zombie travel anymore. It's buddy bro dude guy face travel now. What you got? What you got? My lily deck got a new house. <gasps> oh! Oh, my, I'm waiting for mine still. God, that's beautiful. That is pretty. Perfect you know. colors. Oh, it's so good. So it's this design just with a different art and finish. Yeah, it's the it's the alcove flip one. It's so good. They okay. were sold out last I checked, but keep looking, everybody, because they do come back. Soon. Oh, they're great. Actually, oh, now yes. that we're doing it, I'm going to just rehouse Lily right now and put her in her new sleep <laughs> and everything. Hey. Uh, I'm going to move to combat and I'm going to swing at Olivia for her insolence. What? Yes. With what? The 3-3 three, three with my, it's a flappy bird. I will block with a thop thop. That's fine. Okay, I don't have that other curse on me now. Leech guy went oh, on Joey. Well, okay. The cool. other curse is Leech is on Joey. You just have the curse on Anya mm -hmm. and on yourself. That if well, we yeah, swing this at one's, you, yeah, just bonuses. Tacky, yeah. tacky one. That's my go. Go for it, Joe. Okay. There we go. Before it becomes my turn, I will activate the Tome of Legends. And because I control a commander, Scion of Halastar will affect the draw. I'll look at the top two. I did get the cool art, but not the etched foil oh, one. But TBH, I kind of love this too. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, wow. Yeah. That so good. Oh, wow. Really like, is. honestly, this set makes me very happy to open Double Masters. Like, I just want to open more of it. But I know that it's very, very expensive. And that's a bad choice considering Tiny yeah. Human, etc. Especially because, like... That art. The pack <sighs> serotonin is real, you know, but oh um, my god, is it ever? Expensive. Yeah, <laughs> so real. All right, draw step. Uh, so the Tome of Legends was end step on your turn. Now draw step, sign of Halastar. I'll look at these. Ooh, you're interesting. I will keep this one and I will toss away popular entertainer. Let's pay one, two, three, four, five, six, and we'll recast Tana. She's back mm -hmm. because of Master Chef. Timna gives her a plus one counter and she enters with a plus one counter, so she's got to. If I attack Ailey, I draw a card, but so does Olivia. But mm -hmm. Lua's doing a lot of stuff over there. Lua, you've Me? been doing so much. Yes, you've drawn a lot of cards and you have an ancient copper dragon in play. So I'm so afraid that- You are welcome to swing at me, but first off, remember when you did that last turn, it didn't really go very well for you. <laughs> <laughs> that was mostly my fault. I've been drawing cards. I've been drawing cards. That wasn't cards. even a threat. That was just like, mm, your incompetence is showing. <laughs> I will say I have six, seven, eight, nine cards in hand. So I do have the ability to maybe get the 11 on my turn. So it's okay if you want to swing at me, but then I'm going to come for your life on your turn. So just think about I, that. I welcome No it. risk, no reward, Joey, go for it. Uh, yeah, exactly. And that ancient copper dragon cannot be allowed to hit someone. You cannot be allowed to make that many treasures. So I'm going to cast one of the other removal spells in this You deck. better leave me alone. Oh my God, Joey. I'm sorry, oh, honey. I'm coming I'm for really... your on your turn. Go ahead, I'm, do it. Absolutely. I'm going to free cast Deadly Rollick on your yeah. ancient copper oh. dragon because I control a commander. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's I'm, so brutal. I am sitting here quietly sleeping <laughs> my Liliana deck. Would you like deck. to pay the four? <laughs> no, you draw, you're definitely getting 11 on your turn. There's no way I'm around that. You had a clue. <laughs> like, you're definitely getting it, which is why I have to do as much as I can to you right now. Uh, oh I'm going to, Lua, I'm going to hit you for 10. Woo. All right. So I will just take 10. All right, I gain four from Timna, but then I'll yeah, Joey. I'm, I can read but look Lua's what, power manifesting. Look what he does right every now. turn. Somehow I'm scary, and somehow You've Joey does this enemy. every turn. Ah! <laughs> gonna throw right. that out there. I Feel gain four. The power for Timna manifesting right now. Mm -hmm. I didn't get a veteran soldier because I didn't attack the opponent with the most life, and I am done. And I await my fate eagerly. Oh, you okay. so getting deaded. <laughs> We're gonna untap. I'm not gonna pay for Mystic Remora. Bye. I'm gonna draw for turn. Hope you got some lands out of all those draws. <laughs> oh, and Tomb of Legends. I keep forgetting this. It gets a counter. Okay. We're just going to let me ask this. What's going on, real quick? Lou is about to free cast and enter the infinite. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. You you did disrupt my board a little bit. I'm just trying to see what I can do to maybe help me out. So we're just going to oh. cast a calling ritual. No! <laughs> oh. Oh. And feel free to tell me how many things I kill of yours, Joey. 
real quick, I forgot. I had Curse of Leeches on me, so I'm supposed to lose a life and Olivia, you gain a life. Yeah, I'm... Oh, I don't like that one bit. I'm very sorry. It's mostly for Joey. This is what no. he did. I wasn't going to cast it. it it's two or less, yeah? Two or less, yeah. Okay. Just let me know when you're goodbye, done. Goodbye, Soul Rain. Goodbye, Thap Thap. I lost one creature and one oh. artifact. I'll activate the Tome of Legends before it goes away. <laughs> okay, so for oh Ailey, it's just the three, you said, right? Yeah. This many. And then Joey. Five. Ready? Oh, uh, this might be relevant. What are the mana costs of the curses that are on me? Three. And this is technically the transform side, so I don't know. Transform card has the mana value of the front side, yeah. That one's gone. Radiance, uh, one cost. Yeah, it's weird. You can like use D-Spark on one of those flipped lands from Strixhaven, like the Storm the Vaults. Yeah. It technically, it's four mana. When it land, it's still a permanent with mana value four or more. It's kind of weird. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, what can we do here? How much mana did you get for all that? I got 11, so... Hey. Perfect for the 11 deck. There we go. Here is... What do we want to do? Just put out Planes Return. Okay. Darling, dearest, you get one more mana because Radiant Grace fell off and was destroyed. Okay. 12. You ruined it. What can we do here? <laughs> Honestly, just a couple Savage. things. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was big. Pulling Ritual is such a good card. It really it's is. Great. Total sleeper, not enough. It's folks. only for Joey. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't feel like enough people run it. It's really, really powerful. And by that, I mean, I don't see it out in the wild much. Oh, you but have mana really rocks and tokens? Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> okay, so let's see how we want to do this. We'll use four black from the 12 for a grim hireling. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's eight left. Do this, this. Ooh, you can get treasures off him this turn. Maybe. That would be cool. I really miss my dragon, Joey. I, th I think <laughs> there was a problem here, okay? Miscommunication. <laughs> Got the dragon staying alive. I, I just wanted to stop you from gaining a ridiculous amount of mana, like, say, 12 mana, but then here you are <laughs> gaining 12 mana anyway. You are not helping, correct. What can we do <laughs> here? It's a shame I, I tapped this the way I did, I think. But it is all right. Let's... Mm, she got new sleeves, too. White for yes. an Esper Sentinel. Your girl really needs some card draw. Your girl had a lot of card draw. Yeah, well, I'm casting stuff now, so... Well, yeah, that changes everything, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, so I have eight. I can do... One second. So we're going to play that long rest I got earlier for four. I'm just going to bring one creature back with a different thing. It's going to be a Mystic Remora, which I'll cast. Then I'll use the remaining four for just a Parallel Lives. Oh, okay. just a Parallel just Lives. No big deal. Just a little buddy. Okay. Then that will be the end of the mana situation. What do we have going on right now? Joey, are you tapped out, buddy? Yeah. What do you yeah. want? <laughs> Levin bit. wants to say hello, so it's a three oh, five. I, I will I lose a life. Draw a card. I will take the three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards in hand, so I cannot do something else. But I will then pass turn. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Oh, now you got uh, two text mans. Yeah, you yeah, make your so treasures. I will, make, I will make two treasures, but I will make More four treasures. off of your lives. Nice. You Actually, can I cast anything with the four? Let me see real quick. <laughs> I think we will pass. Okay. <laughs> it was a good turn. It was come back for... Again, I'm sorry for everybody else's stuff, but I had to <laughs> pull up Joey's stuff it's a little totally bit. It's totally fine. You get your vengeance for your Dargan. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened to the Dargan? It got got. And that's the exile. Yeah. Oh, he's at, oh, exile. Well, yeah. that I, makes sense. I deadly rollicked it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Well. But now there's two tax things for non-creature spells for me. And that's Got it. it. Okay. So I'm going to take, yeah, these two planes to cast an arcane signet. We'll draw. Hey, would you like to pay for Esper Sentinel or Mystic Remora? Oh, you got Remora back. Yes, uh -huh. so it would be a total of five mana if you want to pay for both. I actually enjoy playing spells on my turn, so I'm going <laughs> to let you do that too. <laughs> hmm. I'm just saying, if anyone wants to do me a solid and free my Anya, I will not touch you at all. Unless we're the last if two I people left. If I had the ability left. to, I would have got you, girly, but right now. 
<laughs> Free her. This deck does nothing without her. <laughs> I mean, I can actually do that too. Be a so good, I've, good I've learned my <laughs> lesson. <laughs> no more jail. <laughs> learned my lesson. Please let me out. <laughs> Roll, bail, anything? I have not played a land for a turn. Okay. I will take the opportunity to do that now and play a mountain. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. Mystic Grimoire is an enchantment, yes? Yes, you can remove it if you would like. Delightful. To. Okay. Mm -hmm. Enchantment. Fishy. There is in the game of magic a fish illusion. Ooh. It's the Jace fish one. Interesting I point in the game. Like, threat assessment. Mm -hmm. I'm still going to go with Lua because cards in hand, mm -hmm. scary. Mm hmm. Sex guys on board, scary. I have the least amount of life. You're welcome. You're <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and every time I've tried to do something, it's not happening. Come alive so. when I'm backed into a corner. <laughs> <laughs> so we can do it this way. I'm just going to YOLO a little here. I'm going to tap four. And neither of these friends can do anything this turn. So, like, just saying. <laughs> I'm going to Zur the Enchanter. Ugh. Oh. Oh, I'm the threat. Olivia just plays a Zur. It's fine. I don't even have haste. There's a 1-4 flyer. When he attacks, I can search my library for an enchantment with cost three or less and put it on the battlefield. Are you Zur <laughs> about that? Zurly, you can't be serious. I hate you guys so much. Oh, no. I, I, believe I was going to make another play, and now damage. I just... No, you guys, you do stuff like that, and it makes me want to change my play to be spiteful. <laughs> 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 and do nothing of consequence, but just because it can. It's basically mm -hmm. real life goading, Joey. It is. You yeah. It, 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 it very much mages. works on me, too. It very much works on me. Nobody's got a critter I want right now. So. What, is that a puppy? Will... Yes. Oh, oh break. my God, Doggo. Puppy break. Hi, no, Loki. Look at that little friend. He's playing oh, magic. Oh, my goodness. Loki, you can't chew on the cords, my friend. No sweets. Oh, oh. Mischief. I found my missing lip ice this morning. My dear doggo had decided to chew it through the pocket of the pants that I left on the floor. Yeah, oh. she did. Get get him, Oogie. Yeah. Uh, oh, then I'm going to tap four pocket. more. If nothing else, friends, I'm at least accelerating the game. Brago King Eternal. Whoa. It lets me make Brago. enchantments go somewhere else. Yeah. No. <laughs> I just, I get to place things elsewhere. It's a reset. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's not the worst thing because it's just on. Oh, that one's on that damage. Oh, okay. So he like blinks his thing. Okay. And that's cool. He blinks stuff so I can blink enchantments or auras off of people or things and put them elsewhere. Ah, I like Brago. He can stay. Yeah. But Brago lets me reassess threats. I will actually pass my turn after that. Oh, nope. not untap that guy because he's actually an exile. Oh, yeah, for everyone else, don't forget, I'm still verbosely cursed, so you can yes. get cards off of me. And that seems kind of cool. Yeah. Do cool I know. Yeah, cool stuff. Let's do the cool stuff. I'm You're play sponsored by cool stuff. You should do cool stuff. <laughs> I should. And now, a word from our sponsors. Powerful forces will soon collide in the Brothers War, and you don't want to be empty-handed when they do. All pre-orders for the Brothers War products will help you bolster your forces with an all-exclusive Alias V Vampire token. Every single steel product, commander deck, bundle, everything that's coming with the new set gets upgraded with an Alias V token for free. Get your pre-orders in and pick a side for the Brothers War. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Boom. Nice Look plug. at that shell. Thank you. I use code Alias V. Check out. You get 5% off. Save all the money. Each player discards a card. Activate this anytime you cast sorcery. I'm going to discard the swamp because I want to play this card. Bloodhole Priest. Whenever this enters the battlefield or attacks, if you have no cards in hand, it deals two damage to any target. Ah. Damn it, why are you three? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would like to smack that Esper Sentinel, please. Okay. Lou was just like making a list of people that have wronged her. It's just her. like every t every time I like cast something, it gets back to my turn, and then I have no board. So it's like at this point, I expect it. You know, <laughs> I would I would like fair. to point out that I have big. not been that person. No, I, I just, I have, just mostly I'm Joey. Rectos. But... Rectos does these things. I have no hand. I have a <laughs> pigeon, and it's gonna smack Joey this time. Bonk. All right. Three. Bonk for three. That is all I can bonk, do. Bonk, bonk. Untap. I am still cursed by leeches, and it has not shifted to nighttime, so I will lose one. Olivia will gain one. I will. And I will draw for turn. Just a normal draw. 
I missed my sign of Halister. <laughs> That's okay, though, because I've got a fun play. I like this card. I like we this love card fun plays. I will pay six, and I shall cast Genesis Storm. Okay. When Would I cast like this spell... Oh, you might get several Mr. Gamora triggers off of it, actually. Okay. Genesis Storm. When I cast the spell, oh, I copy it for each time I've cast a commander from the commands on this game. That's oh, a that lot. card is so cute looking. The art is Yeah, really but look at the little friends. Right? Yeah. Is that a jackalope? That's a jackalope. I love it. I love that. Hmm. I haven't seen that. A card. bunny with horns. I, Mark uh, Jackalope. Uh, cast. I, I have cast Timna twice and Tana twice. Nice. So I believe I have five copies of Genesis Storm. If folks want to check did. my work there, I'm pretty sure I've, I've cast them each twice, right? Uh, sure. I, that sounds good to me. Yeah. Because I think they were each killed, each killed one time. So I have five total copies of Genesis Storm. I will represent them. Thusly. With, with, with real jackalopes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> with real jackalopes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I flip cards on the top of my library until I reveal a non-land permanent, and I may put that card onto the battlefield. So you do it for shuffles. each one, for each Genesis you have, so you get five things? I get five free things. That's, That's little... dope. Well, Isn't it awesome? Storm yeah. cards are so good with two commanders. Let's go. But it's, not, it's not cast. It's from, it just goes onto the battlefield. So. Oh, you're right. Yeah. yeah. So no Mr. Gamora on that. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I'm less right, excited so now, Joey. Come on. I'm sorry. I misread it. There's a lot of cards. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new one deck. All right. Let's flip till I hit a non-land. That is a mountain. That is a study hall. That is a loyal apprentice. Hey. Nice. We'll, we'll enter. So that's the first one. Uh, Loyal Apprentice enters with two plus one counters on it because of Master Chef. I have both my commanders. On to the next Genesis Storm. Let's flip. Swamp. Bio Waste Blob, which duplicates itself if I control commanders on my upkeep. <laughs> Bio Waste Blob. <laughs> blob. All right, third one. That's a spell. That is an enchantment. That is the enchantment Dragon Cultist. My commanders make me dragons if I have dealt at least five damage to someone. Um, yeah, at the beginning of your end step, if a source you control dealt five or more damage this turn, create a 4-4. Four, four. That's cool. Ooh, gross. Right, fourth one. Flip to, ah, Skull Storm, one of my other favorites. Oh, but that's a spell, so I have to keep going till it hits Street Urchin. Commander creatures I own have sacrificed to ping a thing. It's neat. And oh, now gosh. the final Genesis Storm is a noble heritage. Commanders I own have, when this enters and at the beginning of my upkeep, each player may put two plus encounters on a creature they control, but for each opponent who does, I gain protection from that player. Oh, okay. That's I did cool. things. Oh, the bio waste blob also enters with two plus encounters on it because of Master Chef and my two commanders. Olivia, you have a lot going on. I do. There's he with a lot going on. Yeah. <laughs> You're also My shenanigans are cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> I am gonna go ahead and move to combat. Loyal Apprentice triggers and creates a Thopter because I control a commander. Yep. The Thopter gains haste until end of turn. The Thopter also enters with two plus one counters on it because of my Master Chef. And it doesn't enter tapped because Lua made it go away. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> well, the, if you think about it, it's you really had, Joey's it fault. Was, it, was the right, it was the right play. It was objectively the right call. <laughs> if you think about it, it's all Joey's fault. Is that what you yeah. said? <laughs> yeah. That's the title of this game. There you go. <laughs> if you think about it, it's Joey's fault. All right. I'm going to go to combat. And Olivia, I will attack you with two four fours and one three three flying. Mm. I would just like to say, you can also draw a card off of me if you want. She's a 38. Fair. <laughs> I'll take the 11. Woo! Take the 11? <laughs> no, she's staying. I will gain four off of Timna, and because I dealt four damage with Tana, I will create four Sapperlings, which enter with two plus one counters on them mm. because of Master Chef. Aye. Mm. The culling ritual. <laughs> It did so much, <laughs> and yet so little. <laughs> I will then second main, I'll pay a life for Timna to draw a card, and I will pass the turn after that. No single source I did dealt five damage, so Dragon Cultist doesn't trigger, and the rest are upkeeps, although this one, I can sacrifice a creature to ping a thing. I think but you yeah, did stuff all right. on your turn. I'm feeling pretty good about all yeah, this. You, yeah. Like one or two things. Uh, one or two things, we're done. I'm gonna pay for Mystic Remori on my turn, and I would like to signify that's a one. And I will draw. Uh, what are we going to do? You have all made this very difficult. <laughs> this wasn't for all these other players. <laughs> We're going to just... <laughs> Joey has a bunch of saplings. I just don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do with myself. I'm in a, I'm in a bit of a pickle. 
I'm gonna just try to go to combat because I don't know what else to do. How many Fair. cards do you have in hand? Ten. Attack me. I'm not doing a whole hell of a lot this game, so I'm helping. You're you're not gonna block it? Not gonna block. Okay. I will lose a life. That is three damage for you. Okay. I will draw a card off of that. And guess what? It's an 11 trigger time. Whoa. Oh. When combat damage happens, also I'll make the two treasures from that. Girl, I will alive. also draw from the curse. And oh yeah, I will also draw from hitting you. There you go. Presence. Okay. Nice. Ailey, I will let you come back into this game and enjoy it. For free, I'd like to cast a Genesis Ultimatum. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> which will look at the top five cards in my library, put any number of permanent among them onto the battlefield, and the rest into my hand. That's a magic card. Sure is. I just packed this deck with as many like ultimatums as possible. That's dope. wise. Okay, That's awesome. so we're going to put a Renoya Fire Dancer. This little zombie wizard dude that I cannot pronounce his name. He's there. Uh, in goth guy? The Acer Acerac, the Oh, Lich guy. Acerac. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's got an ETB. Joey's thing. traumatized that a zombie was disrespected in such a way. <laughs> or Acerac, if you want to be this correct. Acerac I don't know. wizard. <laughs> That's how I, I remember have him. I have the tomb annihilation. <laughs> so does he come back to my hand? And then I go into a yep. dungeon? Is it? Okay. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Does it have to be that specific dungeon? Yes. Go into the fast one if you want. I think Tomb of Annihilation is the fastest one. Yeah. It also kind of hurts you a little bit though, right? No, it's just, it's it will just, hurt it's, you. It is but a scratch. Because each player will lose one life. All right. Okay. Don't. He comes back to my hand. The other cards I got, do I have to reveal them to you? No. Of Genesis? Uh, no, it's a look. Uh, Genesis just says, look at the top five cards. Yeah. And the rest go in my hand. Okay, so they'll be in my hand now. Okay, so now uh, I have some cards. Okay, <laughs> what can we do here? What is magic? That's a game that we're playing. What a mode. I mean, how many times can you cost a Sarah wreck? That's true. Also, I don't know if it matters. I think Genesis Ultimatum exiles itself. Yes, of course. That's no problem. It would not be coming back anyways. Let's think about this really quick. What can we do here? Egg. <laughs> Thank you, Olivia. That was everything I needed to hear. <laughs> let's just let's just chaos. It's yes. fine. Can I do chaos? Yes, I can. Is it worth it? Sure. Yes. <laughs> Always. We'll okay. Sure. Why not? I would like to pay a red and also pay a red, and then I'll pay the following three for just a mana geyser. Ah. <laughs> What's that Save do? Um, it's going to make red for each tapped land that my opponents control. Oh, goody. Uh, this. Well, you get six from me. Eight. Yes. Oh, very many. Please tell me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 22? Did, okay. 22. You. So 22. Red cards, man. Yeah. Okay. I would like to do a blue here, a blue there, and we'll minus six for Ancient Silver Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> the dragons are back. I'm trying. It's sure a D&D game, oh. all right? That's the thing. <laughs> and oh, then yeah. I would like to pay four of my red for a Hoarding Ogre. <laughs> I have 12 red left. We'll use a white from here and three of my 12 for a Benny Brax zoologist. Oh, hey, buddy. He's a buddy. He's at the beginning of each end step. If I made a token this turn, I draw a card. Let's see what else we can do. We'll use one more red just for a soul ring. <laughs> As one do. Let's do a green here and we'll use two more of the red for a Chatterfang. Oh, oh, nice. Sorry, I got a, a lot of cards, so I'm trying to adjust. <laughs> yeah. Ailey, I can't help you too much because it, I only have something for a creature. Is there a creature that's really bothering you that is not mine? <laughs> Rago can make Angie's thing go away, so. Maybe is, is we got yeah. Zerga there. What does Joey Maybe have? Yeah, can get rid of that. Joey's commanders mm -hmm. are hurting. <laughs> Probably uh, Tana again. Okay, no. how, okay, we could do Tana. Bye. <laughs> Just the swords for that. Uh, all right. You will Exiled. gain one of them. Gain four. 
And then this deck is doing something completely different from what it normally does. So I'm just trying to figure out what my line is. <laughs> we'll just use a white here and three for an anointed procession. <laughs> oh God. And okay. And I got three left. We'll use just one here and two of that for thorough investigation, which is when I attack, I can investigate. And then if I sack a clue, I venture in a dungeon. I don't have any clues right now. So that is everything I'm doing. I had one mana, red mana still, but it's gone because I don't think I can do anything else. And then I would go to my end step. At my end step, I oop, will draw a card because I made a token this turn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I think there's nothing else that triggers. Oh my cool. goodness. I think okay. your opponents trigger slightly. They're all just like <laughs> they're, eye twitching. They're a little triggered, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so, as I Ooh. said before, this is because of Joey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm going to organize my board a little bit and I will pass. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Goodness. Oh, Lord. So it's supposed to be token so that uh, the calling ritual would hit and then there's a card that makes everybody die. That was not what I was able to do today. <laughs> so <laughs> today it's That's something cool. else. Like it. That was an intense turn. Yeah, I'm sweaty. Hey, Ailey. Mm -hmm. Is it worth two life to you to get rid of that enchantment on Anya? Hell yes. All right. Yes. I'll swing at you with Brago. Cool. I'll take two. Hell. Boop, boop. Cool. You draw a card. Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm going to exile Curse of Verbosity, Nahiri's Binding. I am going to put Nahiri's Binding on Ancient Silver Dragon. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's triggered though. Never mind. Hold on. I don't want that. It has to attack to. to yeah, it has it. to attack. So if you put it on oh, 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 okay. Ah, yes. So what are you doing to me? Are you choosing? I am putting the curse of verbosity on you for sure. Okay. <laughs> so if you get attacked, the attacker gets to draw a card. Okay. And I do too. Oh my goodness. There's so many things happening over there. Benny Brax, Hoarding Ogre, Ancient Silver Dragon, Chatterfang, Renoya, Renonya, Rionya, Sword. Grim uh, hireling. Mm -hmm. Many things. Yeah, there's so much going on here. Uh, I don't know what card would be best to lock down a bit. So what is it that it's doing exactly? Uh, Nahiri's binding prevents attacks, blocks, and activated abilities. Okay, so here's a couple things. If I do any attacks with this, and this triggers, it's going to make Chatterfang trigger, correct? Mm. But also, she will make copies of stuff on combat regardless. Uh those are all triggered abilities. Those though, are all so triggered would... abilities, though. Yeah, but isn't, none of them isn't are a trigger thing you're also worried about? No? Is that what you said? This just won't do anything about it. These uh, are, so here he's binding is activated abilities. Okay. Do you okay, just okay. have bad, the bird as your flyer, or the dragon? Me? Yes. Yeah. I would say hit the dragon so that I yeah. can hit her. And then she'll hit I'll me. I'll bind the I'll dragon so it can't attack or block. Do I want to flash anything else? I'll flash Brea as well to get some thopters. I'm going to put this on him so I know. That'll do it. Yeah, can me. Do I want, I like, Lou, I like you, but I feel like you are very, you're a very powerful sorceress right now. Maybe, but also, but Joey when will this too. game end, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do two things then. I'm going to, one, two, three, four. I'll tap five here mm -hmm. for Tiana, ship's caretaker. Flying first strike whenever an aura or equipment I control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield. I can return that card to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. And then I will... Oh, uh, Lua, I accept whatever penalties are coming towards me. Curse of Shaken Faith on you. Whenever you cast a spell other than the first spell each turn or you copy a spell, <laughs> Curse of Shaken Faith will deal two damage to you. <laughs> I accept the consequences of my actions. I will pass the turn. <laughs> it does feel like a, we got to team up against the, the, the arch enemy moment. So. I don't want to hear anything about an arch enemy when you've been playing this entire game the way you have. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. No, she's not. You're not. She's not the arch enemy, Joey. You are. But yeah. she is. You are both problems. What is I feel the like I stopped her from doing me? all of this two turns earlier. The white like one that's on you. Nahiri's binding. Okay. I just want to it write is, them down so I know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. You. Untap. Tanya's back. Yay. I will draw. These are your, your friends. Got it. And Ailey, you're no longer cursed. Mm, I'm no longer cursed, no. Move him here. Sure, why not? I'm going to pay six for Flare of the Hatebound. It has Undying, so it'll come back with a counter on it when it does die. Whenever this or another creature enters the battlefield from your graveyard, that creature deals damage equal to its power to any target. This board is... Ugh. 
That's scary. <laughs> okay. Olivia. Yes. Could I throw my blood hole priest at you, but don't kill it? Because I want to do face damage to Joey and then hit yeah, Lua right. with my pigeon. I accept Ooh. your terms. So it's a 4-4. Four, four. I have no cards in hand. Hellbent. Woo. So I'm taking four for you to do... No, wait. You, I put a thopter in the way. Oh, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Joey take two, and the phoenix will okay. go at Lua for three. And since Lua is cursed with verbosity, you and Olivia both draw a card. We do. Oh, yeah. I get a card? Mm-hmm. You wait. A card. bonus. Wait. That is triggers, on then? attack. So I can stack the trigger so blood hole goes before I draw, right? Thank oh, you. I actually don't know how that yeah. works. I think I, think, I, can I stack think you them. have to. I think you have to control both of them to stack them, right? Otherwise, it, uh, usually the Otherwise enemy it wouldn't stuff ding. resolves before your stuff. Yeah. Okay, hang on. I can maybe discard it. So let me just see what it is. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna. No, but then it'll be this has to resolve first. I don't know. It's complicated. Let's That's just fine. say I can't do that. Uh, the ding doesn't go off, but the three damage will still go. Okay. I'll discard a swamp. I'll draw another card. Oh, well, that's fun. Okay, fun stuff for next turn. Uh, yeah, that'll be my turn. Go for it, Joey. I'm just, okay. I'm, yeah, I'm all out on on chaos now. Yeah. Let us do I the accept, chaos. I accept everything Lo is gonna throw at me. Yeah. All right. First Not of which is gains a life from me. So Olivia, I believe you gain one. Also, upkeep. Bio waste blob makes a copy of itself because I control a commander. It will enter with one plus encounter on it. We can put counters on stuff. And Noble Heritage. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, uh, commander creatures I own have, uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, each player may put two plus one counters on a creature they control. For each opponent who does, I gain protection from that player until my next turn, which means I can't be targeted. Go to hell, I'm not taking a single counter. I didn't think that you would. <laughs> I'll put two on my uh, on my Timna. Does anyone else want plus one counters? I would like two counters on my Pigeon. Sweet. After Ailey just smacked you in the face for two, that's really nice. I didn't actually <laughs> smash him because I had to draw a card. Oh, that's true. You did. You <laughs> did. Yeah. You did. Uh, Lua, did you want counters? If you do, I gain protection from you until my next turn. So mm, doesn't no, sound like okay. a thing you... I don't you even know, know if I'm going to attack you. I just don't want to... I'm not at the point where I want... Don't limit yourself, you know? Yeah. All right. <laughs> then we'll draw for turn. Uh, that's not... You. Loki would want you to cause mischief. Yes. <laughs> All right. There, there, and there, I think, is the play. I think that's the play. All right. So the first thing I do, I pay three and cast Inspiring Leader. My commanders have creature tokens I control, get plus two, plus two. Is that? <laughs> right? Would oh, you like to pay gross. for Mr. Grimora? I super don't. You may okay. draw. <laughs> then I will pay two and cast Party Outlander. Commander creatures I own have when they attack the opponent with the most life, which is not actually Lua, so that's ironic. Then I can buff up a creature. Would you like to pay again? No, go ahead, I have it. And lastly, I'll pay two and I will cast Agent of Thieves. I have so many backgrounds. Yeah, Tim, I was there's say been a lot of places. Uh, also, can I draw? <laughs> you may draw. And commanders <laughs> I own gain death touch and indestructible and get an additional plus one counter if they attack an opponent with the most life. <laughs> oh, wowie, no. zowie. Yeah, background tribal. Definitely all the backgrounds. You said, let me find a way to use all of them. <laughs> all yep. the backgrounds. Yeah. Jeez, like. All right. I feel like I just have to go all out against Lua because that next turn of yours is going to be dangerous. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> so... <laughs> So I'm going to move to combat. I get okay. a Thopter token because of Loyal Apprentice, seeing that I have a commander. The Thopter okay. token gets two plus one counters on it. So now I have two of those Thopters, but I don't actually appear to own a second Thopter token here. So we'll just represent it with a, with a soldier. So when are you sending it at me? Tell me, friend. <laughs> That's a good question. Most likely all the Zapperlings. I really want Timna to buff up one of the Thopters because you can't block flying, but that means I have to attack someone else. So, Olivia, I'm presuming that you're going to throw a Thopter in front of this, but I have to attack a high life total player to get the to get the Hardy Outlander trigger. You are so, correct. I will attack Olivia with Timna. The Thopters have haste because oh of the Loyal Apprentice. Oh, so to try and consolidate, all of the Zapperlings and both of the Thopters are coming at Lua. And Wait, you're not going to send a loyal apprentice. You're not going to send everything else. No, I think you I might need them. Swing it out. That's it. I think I might <laughs> need those. So, okay. All right. So <laughs> in the air <laughs> is how much? So a couple of triggers happen. First, Agent of the Shadow Thieves gives a plus one counter to Timna. So it's a seven with lifelink. Mm -hmm. Then Party Outlander. My commander is attacking a high left total player. So it will buff up equal to its power. One of my creatures. I will give a plus seven. Oh, God. To... <laughs> One of the flying Thopter tokens. Okay. And and finally, all of my creature tokens have plus two, plus two. 
So the okay. sapperlings are all five. Okay. This Thopter token over here is a five as well. Okay, so in response... <laughs> and this one's a 12. I'm just going to heroic intervention. Oh! No. Yep. And then I'll take how much in the air? In the air... In 12? the air, it? it's 12 plus a, plus a five. Because this is also a Thopter Oh, token. so you're still going to kill me. Uh, no, 17. 12 17. Plus five is 17. Yeah, yeah. No, you're, a, you're around. And then I will block... Everything that I can. So I have one, two, we're three, in danger. Four, five creatures <laughs> oh, yeah. that I can block with. They are all, I don't think, enough to kill your stuff because your things are big. The biggest I have is like a three, four. They're all threes. Three, four, three, two, three, 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 two. So I don't think any of your stuff would die regardless, right? Because they're all nope. bigger. They're so all we'll just we'll just block, you know, all those. Yeah, that's that I can. Good. Oh, I tell a lie, actually. Um it is Minus one. The Master Chef only gives one plus one counter to the additional Thopter token because I only. Have okay, one. so I have one more life. You have one more life. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, you sent four things at the ground at me, right? Four things on the ground, so you're able to block indestructibly all of those. Okay, awesome. I think you could double block one of the creatures to kill them then. Did you have five yeah. ground blockers? Yeah, you could. Ah, uh, sure. Sounds Bye-bye, good. Oh. oh, I'm sweaty. Um, was... <laughs> I feel like Olivia after our last game when she came out with what was it the Boros charm? Yeah, you know, just having that moment. It's okay. <laughs> uh, and if I had mana, I could continue the rest with Street Urchin, but alas, leave me alone. Have you seen your board? <laughs> have you seen your board this whole game? Spider-Man even, meme with Lou like and Joey how, right now. <laughs> yeah, I haven't came for for Olivia or Alias ones. It's always just been Joey. I'm like, have you seen what you've done? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, All right. You In fairness, the you're turn, not right. then. I passed the turn, but I have an end step trigger because the source of control dealt five or more damage. Yep. This turn, I will create a 5-5 five, five red dragon token, which will enter with one plus one counter on it because of Master Chef. Okay, we're gonna get rid of Mystic Remora. Bye! Untap and then draw. (laughs) What do we want to do here? Mm, Risky (laughs) turn! Okay. We love to see it. Yeah, we might have to. Okay, okay, okay. Living on a prayer. Okay, what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? So. Oh, wait. I drew a card because of Curse of Verbosity. Yes, you did. (laughs) And so did Olivia. Did (laughs) I already? Okay, I would like to pay two red, two black, three white. I want to gain seven. Jeez. I'm sorry. Oh, oh no, I already drew from this. I'm sorry. I know what that means. It's, oh. Does this go through? No. Runus? What is it? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. I would like oh. to remind you I'm at three life, so this is <laughs> the responsible yeah. thing I have to this do. This is at the, the Hail Mary. Oof. I can't stop. And again, if Joey didn't do that, <laughs> maybe this wouldn't have been. Oh, oh, honey, miss me with that. Absolutely not. Uh-huh. Do not pretend that I had anything to do with you playing uh, that okay. card. Honestly, no, Um, because of the things you did, I drew this card. <laughs> and <laughs> it is a little bit, yes. I, okay. Uh, um, All the auras will go back to my hand. Thanks okay. to Tiana and everything else will vanish. Okay. I've got a thing that happens. I'd be mean with the thing that happens. That's the question. <laughs> you kill this. Go for it. Are yeah. you gonna kill me on my turn? <laughs> uh, That'd be kind of amazing. Yeah. Uh, when this or another creature enters the battlefield from your graveyard, that creature deals damage equal to its power to any target. It has undying. So when it dies, it comes back with a counter on it, and then it's gonna dumb you. His face. Or five. So I'm. A, I'm just gonna say you do that, and then you guys are just gonna sit here even longer. <laughs> Or, okay, all right, so let, let's strike a deal then, okay? You leave me alone until it's just us left then, yeah? yeah I will kill you I- last. That's good. You can kill something on my board if you like. Oh, God. Okay, then I See, will do. Ding... I don't ever mind the political game, so like, if, if I, I just, it's just I just fun. this all the time. So if people yes, want to progress yeah, the board state, deal. I'm going to ding Joey yeah. then. Lua, you don't touch me until we're the last two. That works. There you go. All right. <laughs> Joey, all take right. five. <laughs> I took five. <laughs> Amazing. What can you here? Okay, so let's go to combat. <laughs> um, uh, I believe Rayanya has a thing. She does, and I'm going to make a copy of him. Uh, you're going to make four copies of him, I think. Yeah. No, because it's not tokens, I don't think. Oh, it does make tokens. Um, yeah. <laughs> and squirrels. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> That's 
actually it would be more than one because I cast an instant or sorcery spell. So at the beginning of combat my turn, I make X tokens that are copies of another target creature you control, where X is one plus the number of instant or sorcery spells. And this time I've cast one, so I will be making two. They will gain haste and then exile them. Because they are tokens though, they will trigger with these. So yeah. you could make eight dragons. Yeah, but my problem is I hope I don't roll very high. <laughs> you might not want to attack with all eight dragons, it's true. If you did, yes, <laughs> yes, you would probably deck yourself. Yes, which is okay. If that's how it goes out, then maybe that's the way we do it. Uh, you um, simultaneously make eight squirrels. I do. I will make eight squirrels. Then doesn't that double with parallel lives and a noisy procession? Mm. Uh, since they're both replacement effects, I'm not sure how that works, actually. This always confuses so, me. Yes. So anytime I would make a token, I would make a squirrel for that. So because I make one of these, I would make one squirrel, but then it would hit this again, correct? I think so, yeah. So one squirrel happens off of the first one, but then three squirrels technically happen because of annoyed procession in this. So I think it's just eight times three. Well, because it's eight dragons, correct? Yeah. Somebody tell me if I'm wrong. Olivia, you're on the keg. Oh God, that, <laughs> I'm not there for rules. <laughs> if that's correct, it would be 24 squirrels. But if it is not correct, somebody please tell me. We're making eight copies of the dragon with what? Rionia. She's making that. But when one happens, Chatterfang makes a squirrel. But because of this, there will be two triggers. So there will be three squirrels off of each dragon is what I'm well, assuming. So, so that's the thing. I think they aren't, that they aren't the parallel and anointed nope. don't stack. Okay. So I'm looking up a quick ruling. They are both please do. Somebody and do. apply yeah. once each to the initial token creation. So you would make uh, one token normally, then you would mm -hmm. apply the Parallel Lives or the Chatter Fang. Okay, so instead so, it would yeah, just- Since they're both replacement six. effects rather than triggered effects, I believe mm -hmm. that's the, the thing. So correct. I remember thing. trying to get real spicy with Academy Manufacturer and with yeah, this says Anointed one Procession. More. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and then it, it's gonna make 16 instead. Still not insignificant, right? All right. A, so, a ruling that I'm looking at here says uh, they can't continue going off of each other because otherwise. Exactly. Yeah, I they mean, can't stack ad infinitum. Yeah. Because that then means, it would yeah, go yeah. infinite. A pair of the lives in an anointed procession would go infinite unless they each just apply. That would be really funny and I would enjoy that. That is not the case, yeah. though. So that's okay. <laughs> All right. So I would like to go to combat. Yes. So for Joey, you. Yeah. You can I'm Joey. absolutely. Well, just. A little chatter fang. So eight, eight, eights in the air. Let's see how I can <laughs> divide this. And then I have a hoarding ogre trigger too. Okay. Give me one second, math. Eight times eight, 64. But if she hits with all of them, she has to roll the d20 and draw that many yeah. cards. Mm -hmm. And, and if effect. you roll dice, you have to roll twice, right? Um, No, it, that was a different card. This one I'm going to roll for treasures on him. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, the other card was the one that rolled it twice, but it was killed right. earlier today. And then there's other things that are gonna happen. So let me see, if I hit Joey for 32 plus 11 is three, and Chatterfang is three. That's 38. I gotta send one more dragon to kill Joey. So four dragons. We're just gonna risk it. If I lose, yeah. that's all right. Okay. Honestly, yeah. that dragons. is one of the best ways to lose too. <laughs> like that's so yeah. four dragons, eleven, and Chatterfang at Joey. Then I still have four dragons here. We'll send this also, and then <sighs> if you want to play it safe, I have a card that could probably deal with Olivia. Oh, thanks. On my turn. <laughs> well, I, I am hit. very deal withable right now. I can hit, so we'll send we'll send these and two of the dragons at Olivia and it will be enough to kill her. Yes. If you don't what? deck yourself. If I if don't you deck, deck yourself, myself. you kill no one. <laughs> yes. uh, it's, it's after combat damage, so she'll still kill us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, because the combat damage has to hit for the trigger. I could just mm -hmm. be crowned the winner here. Potentially. Yes. And Wait, I can't hit Ailey then. because I just made a deal with Ailey, so. Two, four, six, oh my God. seven, eight. Oh, yeah. Right. Combat damage. Right, right, right. Yep. Yeah. That was our preview card. We know that. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so this is enough to kill the two of you. Okay. Right. Oh, I left. Okay, bye. <laughs> I left a few dragons hanging back. They will disappear at the end of my turn. There's a couple triggers here. So I will draw off of 11. And I will lose one life, unfortunately. Okay. I'm I'm dead, right? Like just yes, to clarify. you are dead. Okay, good. Um, I will Scott. roll for hoarding yeah. ogre. Which we did our best, Joey. Is... I did do my best. I, I was really close. I will make sixteen treasures away. off of him, but oh with God. one of these guys, that makes how many? Wait, wait, wait! You don't make sixteen treasures off of him? 
A hoarding ogre? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm thinking about my dragon from earlier. Yeah, no, no, you make two. <laughs> You're good. I will make two <laughs> treasures. The best common in the set. <laughs> I, that's it. Uh, so I make two treasures. Sorry, I was thinking about my dragon. I haven't seen him in a while. So uh, just so thinking about my dragon. I'll make sorry, four everybody. Here. You get four here. And then I will make four squirrels. Well, it's two becomes four becomes eight becomes eight treasures, eight squirrels. Right? Okay. Sure. J just like with the dragons was eight dragons, eight squirrels, I think. So this will be 24 squirrels. Wouldn't it be 16 squirrels? It was 16 before. I was right. What was it? What was it before? I don't know. The, spot, the, the squirrels were 16. Yeah. Yeah. Why were okay. they? So it was two dragons, which became four dragons with the anointed, which became uh, eight dragons with the parallel lives, which became eight dragons and eight squirrels with the chatterfang. Okay, so it was eight before. That, that's what I thought. I thought. Okay, so it was eight before, and then I added the sixteen, which makes it twenty-four still. Was this not just sixteen off this? What did you just say? <laughs> uh, if you just got two treasures, it's the same thing. So two becomes four. So it's sixteen. Lives, becomes eight through the anointed. Becomes eight treasures and eight squirrels with the. With the okay, so then it, he's at 16, correct? I think that's how think it is. So. I'm, sure, we'll just say the, that. The comment section will, uh, but based on the replacement rulings I was looking up, I think that's how it goes. Okay, clue comes off a of thorough investigation. Off of this, there will be a second clue. And then more Chatterfang things. Uh, yes, more Chatterfang things. So it's another... Oh, you made a clue? <laughs> yeah, I made two clues. Uh, two clues four. becomes... Four clues becomes eight clues becomes eight more squirrels. <laughs> oh my God, I'm sorry, guys. Just no, put no, no, me. It's you fine. know what you know. You know what we should do? Just put X where the squirrels are. That's fine. <laughs> so it's eight it is, more. At I this think. point, it's an amount sure. of, uh, of 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 creatures. It's an amount of that... fairy critters. You have eroded problem. Call the exterminator. I also didn't make my treasure off of my creatures attacking. So two more treasures makes oh. four. <laughs> makes we'll say it's eight again, right? That sounds right. I don't know. That one is sixteen. If you hit two people, I think. Okay. <laughs> I think that is all of my triggers until yeah, we get to the Ancient Craft Dragon. That is where we're at with those. We'll say that is correct. Yes. And then this is... I have to do... I, I didn't do all eight of them. I left two behind, so I have to roll four times. Eight. Fifteen. One. Fifteen. So, thirty-eight. Wait, didn't you have eight dragons? I thought you hit with six dragons. I only hit with six of them. Yeah. So, you have to roll twice more. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, Eight, 15. Oh my God. Let's see what happens. <laughs> the ED dead. <laughs> Just got me. Did it get you? I believe I rolled, I think it was for 62 cards. I had uh, 58 in here. Dang. <laughs> wow. But I can't respond to any of my triggers because everything I have in my hand is a sorcery. So. Wowie. Wow. I think wow. Ailey just gets it because I was nice and didn't hold, you know, swing at her. <laughs> there we go. Damn. I don't think you could have killed and all three of us, one. though. Just saying. I think I could have with the cards in my hand if I did something else. Like if I casted something, I could have probably been able to do it. Yes. Nice. Well, I do think I would have killed you because I had Boneyard Parlay. And mm -hmm. if things entering <laughs> come out of my bin, I'll just smack you in the face, so. Yeah, that's good. By the way, freak on power, woo! Wow. <laughs> I mean, it still counts as a win even if you don't have to do anything for it, so GG. Excuse just me? Freak on power on your falcon wrath, don't mess with the best. Because the best <laughs> don't mess, oh yeah. That was terrible and it took me back about 20 years, I'm sorry. But yeah, I, I, you know what? I'll take a win. If you're going to draw yourself yeah. out while the other people are dead, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm going to give Lua the honorary crown because she knocked out Joey and I, but yeah, that was, that yeah. was, uh, that was a game. That was a hell she of a game. She was certainly doing the most stuff. When I saw that Runa's oh ultimate, gosh, I was like, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> and being able to cost oh, that in yeah. a five color deck, like, woo. Yeah. That takes some doing. That's a lot of, that's a lot of devotion. <laughs> yes, there is. But hey, kudos to her for oh, bringing <laughs> bringing the spice this week. And Joey's deck too sure, is absolutely super fun all around. I, I didn't approve of your cursing. Um, you I uh, it's almost like I don't care. <laughs> nope, I don't. That's fine too. Like we say, it's well, like a you say, pretty strategy, often. Strategy, Ailey. It's Commander. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs>
<laughs> friends, thank you so Goodness. much for watching. And as always, a big, big shout out to our heckin' awesome sponsors. And this is the part of the show where I say you should go and do the following. You need to click the things that make the dings. You should go check out Cool Stuff Inc., Face to Face Gaming, and UltraPro.com. You can use the code ALSV for a little discount on your purchases. You can also support us by checking out our friends at Moxfield.com, the internet's best deck building website, Altersleeves.com, and our friends at Commander Herald. Go check them out, all your commander needs, all in this lovely description beneath the video. So go clicky the mm -hmm. thingy, my friends. Also, thank you to our patrons who are super duper rad and supportive and get to watch the show early. So if you like the idea of seeing the show before anybody else, avoid all the spoilers and get some cool swag, go sign up on patreon.com forward slash ED hijinks. Yes, please. And thank you. We appreciate all of y'all so much. And we'll have another game next week. See you then. Bye.